guys so I'm here today to film another foundation rewind for you I am kind of cheating because I'm gonna be doing the makeup revolution uh, fast base stick foundation for you which I recently picked up but I'm a cheater whatever um, before I get started please subscribe to my channel I upload every Tuesday and Thursday my news resolution is to be a better youtuber so I'm trying to commit to that I also should have a review on the Soraya Jade Cosmetics coming up soon or before this. Can't decide what I'm going to do first, but I, I am going to film this one tomorrow. So uh, this is the Makeup Revolution Fast Base Stick Foundation. I picked this up off Beauty Bay. Uh, Beauty Bay ships to Canada for free shipping over $60, which isn't bad. So I picked up this and I also picked up the Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer. Uh, this here is the swatch of the stick foundation in the shade F4. This is the Makeup Revolution stick foundation in the shade 115. So as you can see, they're very similar. Makeup Revolution, or Makeup Forever is a little bit lighter, but Makeup Revolution is more pink toned. But once blended out, they're going to be the fucking same. I just want to pull up the website and show you guys or read what it's supposed to be. It literally just says this easy to apply stick formula melts into skin blending seamlessly to leave a fresh and dewy finish which is right up my alley. Swipe on blend it with fingers a beauty sponge or your favorite foundation brush and that's literally it. F4 is described as light skin tones with neutral undertones. I definitely think it's kind of pink toned but like it's fine. And then this is the conceal and define in the shade C3 and I think what I'm actually going to do is do one eye with this and one eye actually no I'm just gonna do this but I am gonna swatch the Tarte Shave Tape for it for you so you guys can see that this is C3 from Makeup Revolution this is Tarte Shave Tape in light so like very similar so if you are my skin tone if you if light is your shade this is your shade I've already primed my skin with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer wa Primer Water if you can hear it jingling in the background that's my cats climbing my Christmas tree that I need to take down today because they're going to drive me to kill them. So we are just going to spread this on our face. Um, it is very creamy, like almost, I want to say almost crumbly. Like I can kind of see chunks of this around my face. And as you can see here, the edges were hard and now they've kind of rounded as they've fallen off while I'm applying this to my face. I mean that looks good enough and I'm just going to use a beauty blender because I'm just a beauty blender ass bitch I'm not I'm not sorry for it mm. when I think stick foundations I just got that on my shirt cool I think full coverage and this is look at this cat hair on it too this is like super glowy I feel very glowy but I feel like I got literally no coverage so we're gonna do a complete second layer like see can you see it crumbling off here which is kind of weird I'm just gonna smudge that on my own face so let's see what happens with two layers I just like I want coverage I don't and I'm not going to apologize for it. I will say I probably would have gotten more coverage with the with a brush, but then it also wouldn't have been as glowy. And again, I always use a sponge, so I'm not going to change the way I apply a foundation just because it's not working for me. I would just not use it if I'm being honest. Okay, so I will say I'm super fucking glowy. And it's applying like weird around my mouth. That's better. Okay, so this is what it looks like on my skin. Um, I would call this a medium buildable foundation. It does definitely feel fuller now, but I also kind of feel like it's almost sitting on top of my skin. Let me zoom you in farther. So you can see it's super glowy, but like, I don't know. There's just not a lot of coverage happening. And like, I just feel like it's, settling into my pores and just kind of sitting on my face so I'm going to use the conceal and define concealer now again I'm in the shade c3 
Um, it definitely is a thinner formula than Tarte Shape Tape. Okay, let's see. Let's see how that works. Okay. Anyone that said this was a dupe for Tarte Shape Tape lied to your face. Because this has no coverage. I mean, not no coverage, but it's, like, it's not a bad concealer, but it's, it's not the kind of coverage that I get from Tarte Shape Tape. I'm going to put a little bit more right in the hollow. Oh, it's weird. Okay, so when I first blend it out, it feels like nothing's happening, but then it's almost like when it settles into the skin, like, more coverage appears out of nowhere. I also feel like it's oxidizing a little bit, which is fine because... It was a little light. So again, we'll zoom. So this is what it looks like. Isn't that a cute look for my eyeballs? Why does it look up? I mean, it's okay, but it's nothing life-changing. I'm gonna set that with my RCMA No Color Powder and a Beauty Sponge, which is how I set every single concealer I own. Do you hear my cats being fucking cares? Bet you do, because I fucking do. Okay, so, I mean, everything looks good once you set it with a powder. <laughs> once you set it with this powder. Um, I'm going to do my eyebrows, eyelashes, and finish my face. Maybe once I set this, it'll look better. We'll be back. Okay, so this is the finished look. I'm wearing a Benefit Dallas Blush and Penny Bronzer on today because I wanted to show the foundation. Lips are Soraya Jade Cosmetics in Rebound. Loving it. Um, on my eyes today, I'm wearing the Morphe 39A palette, which I love, and I'm only using two shades. How magical is that? Um, I set my face with MAC Marilla Skin Finish Natural because this did feel really tacky still after a few minutes, and so I just felt like I needed to set it. And I also set my face at the end with MAC Fix Plus and Urban Decay All Inner Setting Spray. Here's my thing. Remember when I was like, do I like this? I don't know. Well, now I like it. This is what happens to my life every time. I'm always like, when I apply a foundation, I don't know if I like it, but if I set it with the rest of my face on, I'm like, ooh, it's kind of cute. So let me give you a zoom. So as you can see, even once it's set, it still looks very dewy. I'm getting some decent coverage. Again, I wouldn't call it full coverage, but it doesn't claim to be full coverage. It doesn't really have any claims. Um, you can see it's settling into the fine lines in my forehead, but hi, if you're new here, every foundation does that to me. I need Botox or filler or something, but like also to the lottery. So yeah, this is what it looks like and I don't hate it. So I'm not mad about this foundation. Um, you get... 6.2 grams or 0.218 ounces of this. And I just want to check how much you get in the Makeup Forever stick. You get 0.44 ounces or 12.5 grams. So you're getting half of what you're getting in this, in this. And this one is going to run you, oh, this is $9 on Make Beauty Bay, but right now it's showing up as $5.40 on Beauty Bay. So I'm not sure if it's a sale or it also comes in it looks like 18 shades on the Beauty Bay website but I believe there's more on the Makeup Revolution website because I remember when this came out everyone was excited that it was in lots of shades so overall I don't hate this I like the foundation right now more than I like the concealer the concealer is just okay it's definitely no Tarte Shave Tape and I'm throwing things around it's definitely no Tarte Shave Tape and again you get way less in this than you do in Tarte Shave Tape as well because Tarte Shave Tape is huge enormous so it is now whoa i'm throwing everything around it's 203 p.m i'm going to call the check-in time 145 because i tried to record this already 10 minutes ago and i wasn't recording uh -huh. and i finished my foundation around 145. got a late start today so i will probably be doing only like an eight hour wear test because your girl is old and goes to bed early so i'll be back in about four or five hours to do my first check-in and see how this baby lasts Okay, so it is 
654 so this has been on for five hours so far i'm tired already like i wanted to make up off but i'm powering through um and it's like my mirror over here uh the chin is looking glowy the forehead is looking glowy still i mean everything kind of looks the same i am getting some settling in my dimple here and also in like this line above my lip and a little bit in my forehead so i can tell that it's kind of starting to separate and by eight hours i don't think it's gonna look great but maybe it'll just like maintain this level of disintegration which i wouldn't be mad about let me zoom so as you can see most of the coverage is still on my chin i think if you are oily skinned this is gonna make you greasy i'm just being honest uh cheeks pretty much look the same it's like a, it looks a little cakey on my upper lip a lot of it has rubbed off i ate a burrito bowl for dinner and I put too much hot sauce in it and I'm really white. Um, it's a little cakey in between my brows and my forehead hasn't really changed much. It hasn't settled any more than before. So I mean for five hours, like I'm not mad about it. Overall for five hours, this isn't a bad check-in by any means. I mean, I still got the glow. It's a little tacky still. Like I almost feel like kind of greasy which is weird for me because I don't get greasy um like in between my forehead like part of me feels like some parts look cakey and some parts look greasy so I'm not sure how I would counteract like that I was like originally I was like well I'll use a hydrating primer next time but then I think I might look too greasy I don't know but like again overall it's not a bad stick foundation but it's not my favorite so again it's about 6 45 right now so I'll be back Hopefully in another four hours to do a final check-in and take this off. Okay, it is 9.55. My phone isn't in here, so like just trust a girl. So this has been on for eight hours and I want to put a face mask on right now so bad. So we are going to be done here. Oh, I just smudged my lipstick dreams. Um, I... I don't know. I think this is a good foundation for like short term. Like this is not like a wear every day at work kind of foundation. Like it looks really cakey around here and I can't tell if it's my concealer or my foundation. Also like where is my nose? Where's my nose? Um, It looks a little like almost oily on my nose. Like do you see how that's like wet? Um, A little separated everywhere let me zoom so as you can see it's a little cakey around my chin area and separated not looking great here my cheeks I mean always look fine nothing happens although there's some removed here but I think I was resting my hand there so it's not really foundation's fault also like I don't know what happened here but like can you see how cakey and like weird it is there I don't think it's the concealer because like even over here where I had to set the concealer twice like it's still pretty in place honestly that light is so bright I want to die right now uh still looking kind of makeup-y in the forehead and uh between my brow area just overall not loving it it's hard for me to fully judge this foundation without knowing what it's supposed to be like there's no coverage level or wear level that I'm supposed to be comparing it to but in the terms, in like terms of foundations, I didn't think it had great coverage on first application. You had to apply two layers, which seems to make it look more makeup-y. It's separated. It like, it's just the kind of makeup that just feels like if I touch my face, like it's just coming off at this point. And like, that's not great staying power. And I did set my face today. So this might be an okay, like running errands foundation, but I probably wouldn't wear it for anything else and you don't get very much product in here like this is the entire container like you get way more in the makeup forever and obviously the makeup forever is more expensive but i think there are better drugstore foundations than this i've heard that the uh color pop stick foundation is really good i actually didn't know they had one until i watched kathleen light's favorites videos recently so i just like i'm not wowed by it so that is my video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, let me know down below if there's any foundations you think I should check out. I definitely am eyeing the Morphe one. I definitely want to pick it up. They actually opened a Morphe store near my house. So I might go on launch day. Ugh. 
I'm trying to pick it up, but it sounds like a disaster. So thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram, and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.